everybody, it's Simon Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I am back with a scrapbook layout. I know it's been a few weeks. I've just been so busy with some commission work and other things just sometimes take over and I haven't really had the chance. So I'm back and I have been having fun and I've been catching up. So I'm sharing this really fun, colourful layout with you today. And it's using the new Dream in Colour collection from Rosie Studio. Now I actually purchased this about four weeks ago I think now and I have played a little bit with it but um, I haven't really you know had a good kind of go so I have brought everything out for this one and you can see that I briefly showed you some of the stuff everything will be linked in my blog um, and I'm just going through the paper here so this is the 12 by 12 paper pack really gorgeous beautiful print stripes sparkle You've got the foiling through there, it's unicorns, it's magical, it's whimsical, it's just really, really nice. So I pulled out a few here, as I wasn't too sure which one I wanted to use yet. I was going to, I had the idea initially, I was going to be cutting kind of strips from all different ones, and then I decided to go for something a bit different. So you can just see here, I'm kind of playing around. Now the photo is one of me and some of my bestest friends from school. We've known each other a long time <laughs> and this was from my birthday in January this year they surprised me in a to a lovely uh, kind of like a uh, it was just like a really nice kind of lodge and um, we had a hot tub and we we're all there in our robes and it was just a really lovely two nights away with the people I love the most so yeah I wanted to scrapbook this layout so I'm going through these are the pack of die cuts that you get you can see there you get some really, really, again, really fun, lovely um, images and sentiments and just smiley faces and hearts and all that kind of stuff. So I've pulled out a few there to the right and then I've just brought in here. This is my Ink Spray Mist by Cosmic Shimmer. I can't remember the colours I'm using here. Again, I will share them. It was just a real nice kind of turquoise and then I brought in a pink colour as well. And I just let the paper absorb the colour so it didn't take long to dry. Then I'm bringing in some of my red tape here. This is my double-sided tape and I'm creating some strips, just different lengths along the bottom. And I so I do some vertical and some horizontal strips. And this is just from the double-sided glitter technique that I shared last week, the beginning of last week. Loads of you really liked it um, and are going to give it a go. It's been around for years. It's something I've done lots as well. But I just thought I was going to do it again because I picked up some really nice glitters which are here <laughs> from b and m in the uk these are 4.99 for all of these glitters um and i just thought that these colors in this collection worked really well with the colors that i'm pulling out now in the glitters so you'll see what i'm going to do in a second but i'm just pulling out those real nice kind of real bright fl um, fluorescent colors there so i've covered all of the area that i wanted with the double-sided tape and then i'm just peeling off one at a time and I'm going to sprinkle a different colour of glitter. So those of you that watched that tutorial last week, I'll link that in here as well, actually, for anybody that's not seen it, because I made some really nice cards. And I'm just going along and I'm just spreading out and pushing all the glitter into the double-sided tape. It won't stick anywhere else apart from that double-sided tape. So you can see on the ends, I just kind of cut them on an angle just to give it a little bit of, you know, something there um, rather than just the blunt edge. And um, it took to the the glitter, the sticky tape really, really well, actually. And you can see there just how well. Now, when you see me put the next one on, they almost look like the same. So I think kind of the, the iridescent, the, yeah, hang on a minute. When I do, if you see now, when this kind of, when I rub it around, you see it looks like the same colour below. And I think that's just my lighting, obviously, hitting um, the glitter. Um, and it just creates that same colour. But once it all comes off, there we go, you can see all the different colours. And in real life, it looks great. So I'm just now going to start framing that photo. So I already had it printed on, uh, with a white frame. That's what I was going to say. And then I am going to frame it with this flower background. Although you don't really see a lot of it. I just liked it. It had lit little bits of all the colours kind of poking through. And then I will pop it as well on the purple this one here there are three i think it is of each design so i wasn't too worried that i was cutting into this particular sheet because i do really like it and i'm going to use it for a layout but i wanted that matching purple you know uh frame there just around just to, so you can really see the the other pattern paper underneath so that's my photo kind of all ready now and i've popped some foam adhesive on it to just give it some dimension and now because i'm sticking this on top of glitter i'm using my strong tacky glue there just to make sure it does stick down over that surface 
um, just above the bottom glitter strip there just so you can see that and I think it's starting to look really good so now I slowly start to bring in all of these die cuts and just play around I haven't stuck anything down as yet I'm just kind of deciding you know where roughly I want things to go what bits what bits I want to use and what I don't I end up sticking some bits down and then I take them back off again so I haven't kept the whole kind of process of this because I did kind of go back and forth with it a little bit so it does jump ahead in parts but I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of how long these things take sometimes <laughs> sometimes they're really quick this layout took about an hour and a half in total so um, I did go away have a cup of tea come back got distracted with the phone call and yeah so on so <laughs> it's uh, it, it wouldn't usually take this long um, this is a lovely saying I really like this and it says stay close to the people who feel like sunshine um, these are people along with a few others that aren't in this photo and my best friend Kate are the people that I would tell anything to I can trust them with my life they are wonderful people so yeah I really like that little uh, cut out there now this one happiness is this I did stick down and I ended up taking that away so although it goes there I just I don't know after a while I just thought it was all a bit too much so I just took that one off because I just wanted that one in the yellow to really kind of stand out these are the epoxy stickers so that one I just popped in the photo says smiles and then this is the one that says besties which I just thought was great and obviously it all matches because it's from the same collection so I'm just popping that one just lining it up with the lines on the paper there which was quite easy to do and these are all the little stars oh no sorry these are the arrows I bring in the stars in a moment so they were facing the other direction I'm just flipping them around so obviously it's pointing to the photo now starting to kind of really cement everything in place so sticking it all down because like I said I don't tend to stick everything down until I'm 100% I've got a hashtag birthday because it was my birthday weekend got the rainbow and then I'm bringing in these are from the sticker embellishment pack so I've got best of times friends for life good times and fabulous I'm bringing in there and just above that it says soul sisters which I thought was another nice one as well which is on that glitter strip so now I'm bringing in one of these gorgeous, these are called the metal trinkets and they're little stars. You get nine in a pack. I got two packs. This one's just got rainbow colours in it, but there are ones that say cute and sassy, be free or free spirit, things like that. So really nice. And you can have them hanging from mini albums, your diary, planners, things like that. Then I'm bringing in some of the little stars, which again were from the epoxy sticker pack. And now I've just got some of my Perfect Pearls Ranger Mist. Um, I was just covering the photo and I just went over and stuck that and um, sprayed it all over. And then I trimmed the actual layout down and then I framed it with white just to, again, let it kind of pop and stand out more. And now I'm finishing my layout with some white Nuva drops because I think, again, I just wanted that to work with the white frame around the photo, the white frame around the layout and then the white Nuva drops and the little white stars. So I just thought that kind of balanced it. And there you have it. Really, really fun, glittery, happy bright layout to remember that really fun weekend and my gosh we had a giggle so I hope you've enjoyed this layout I will get back on track again and be sharing them every Sunday again I've already got a few banked now so um but yeah sometimes just things uh, you know you know what it's like they just get in the way but um yeah hope you've enjoyed it as always I will link all of the supplies I've used and I'll be back again next Sunday with another layout thanks for watching bye